Hello and welcome to what may be the very final episode of my blind playthrough of Colot. All we need to do is double check the map that we have 27 journal pages and then we will be fit to go to the final destination, the red beacon over there. So if I pull the map back up, we will start at the top with the most recently gathered page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, and twenty seven. That is all of the pages, and I kind of want to give myself a pat on the back for figuring out 26 of them on my own and only needing the hint of a big squiggle to figure out this one. So, I guess that's it. I guess we have to go do the big thing now, and since I know how to get to it after all of that <laughs> admittedly embarrassing trying, I have no excuse not to do this. I really am thinking that this is going to be the end of the game. I don't know how long this sequence might be. It could be a very short episode, but I guess you can check the timestamp to figure that out, can't you? Meanwhile, I am just in the dark. I have no idea how long I have to endure this nightmare. But what I do know is that I would like to figure out where Anton is. How did it happen that Anton became the anomaly? Because that's what I am sure and willing to bet on has happened. Okay. Here we are at the Red Beacon. And let's go inside. I don't like the look of this place. But... We have to go in. I hear a page. But we have all of the pages. Okay. Ha! Ha! He's coming. Ha! Ooh. Anton, that wasn't very neighborly of you. Okay. Whoever you are, if you are reading these words, I beg of you, help us. We are in a place they call Post Office Box 5. I don't know where this is. I don't even know what year it is. They are not allowing anyone from the outside to have contact with us. They lock us up in cells, four in each. I saw dozens of cells like that. They talk about something they called Anomaly 7. Every day we undergo tests, research, tortures. I have seen how they kill people. I have seen terrible things. Write about it. Let the world know. They conduct the worst experiments possible. They have something that we call the fear chamber. There is no way to say what will happen to the person that ends up there. Some come back, but are no longer themselves. They are absent. Others are dragged out dead. Only few stay sane. I have seen a bright orange light which spoke to me in demonic voices and showed me things worse than any nightmare you can possibly dream. Sometimes people come out of there with broken bones, mutilated, crushed, irradiated, dismembered. I can't take it in anymore. Take away these images. There is a scientist amongst us. He said that during their sick experiments, they discovered something out of this world. They are trying to test it. The truth is that it is testing them. 
He told us that there are more places like this around the world, and there will come a day the gates of hell will open. You have to stop this. Destroy it. Destroy us. Kill us all. The center is governed by something that is called the Soviet Research Unit for Natural Phenomena. I have seen this on an ID card of the man that was interrogating me. He said we were prisoners, convicts, murderers, rapists, thieves. But that is not true. I have done nothing wrong. I hate them all. They call us subjects. No names, but subjects. I am Subject 73. I don't even remember my real name. I beg of you, please help us. Burn it all to the ground. If only this letter reached beyond the walls of the center. If only the guard who promised to take it has kept her promise. You have to do something. I swear by all that one holds sacred, you have to. My only cellmate, Anton, whispers in my ear that everything is going to be fine. That the orange light is singing in the voices of hundreds of angel choirs. Anton promised me that if I listen carefully to the singing, he will free me. Sometimes, however, I think that all of this does not exist. There is no prison. There are no bars. There are no doctors. There is no Anton. There's only this frightening, piercing orange light. Okay. Can we destroy it? Dude. Please. What? Okay. Um... Uh, yeah? Okay, I guess we need to get moving. I probably shouldn't stay here, right? Is this second door open now? No? Okay, let's get out of here, I think. I don't think we can destroy Time it. Time does not heal wounds, as I've recently learned. <sighs> this truth was pounded into me by pain. Cruelty and lies. I okay. learned from this. I remembered. It nearly touched the essence of my understanding, becoming the revelation of truth. When they dragged me down the corridor with my shattered bones. When they operated on me to observe the misplacement of my organs. Mm -hmm. When they put the worst nightmares into my head. When they closed me up, put me together again and revived me over and over uh -huh. to test the limits of my endurance. Yeah, that's not nice. And when finally, after so many years, they told me my wife was dead. Okay, don't stutter. Time does not heal. I'm sorry about all of that. That sounds really messed up, dude. I apologize. Do I go towards the rumbling? I bet it's those pillars in the middle again. In the orange light. Was I supposed to come to this place last? It almost feels like I was. But... I'm not really sure anymore. I'm not really sure anymore what I'm supposed to do. What I was ever supposed to do. And the game is still going, so we must also. Don't give up, guys. Okay. They have those symbols on them glowing. I thought that was the tower place back there collapsing, but it's this. And what's in that other bunker we found? You know what I mean? The underground door we found in the northwest? 
of the map. Why are they doing this? Is this part of Anomaly 7? The ground is shaking more as the closer we get. It's a little hard to walk when it does that. What? The pages are just going to get scattered again. Is that the point? Do people keep collecting these pages and then they blow all across the whole place and again? So we have reached the end. Have you understood your role in my plan? No. There are no random victims. And nobody is completely innocent. You may not agree. But when the gates to Section 22 open and the world will see true madness, you will understand that everything I had done was necessary. I'm following tracks to a campsite? Okay. Let's hurry a little bit. Someone has driven through here. That could be good news, but I don't think it is. The gates to section 22 are open, and that seems pretty specifically bad to me. I am right behind. Where are you? Is that... I can see you. Is that you? Whoa. So Do you hear me? Name? Let me Today, in. we meet. I got jump scared you? so bad. I can see you. Yeah. I hope you can. You yes, I hear you. I'm coming to you. Here I am. Right where you want me, right? Here I am. Doc? Doc, can you hear me? It's Anton. That's enough for today. The patient's results are deteriorating. Let's disconnect him. Shit! Turn it off! Quickly! Do it! He can hear us! Okay. That's the end of Colot. What'd you think? I have faith that you are safe on your last star. You said a bright, warm light will bring you home. Did you lie, my dear? Let me know. Just let me know. Interesting. I wasn't expecting the song to have vocals, and I shut up as to not interrupt them. When the ashes arise, the light shall fall. Sky is dead forever gone. Will you find me? Will you find me? When the ashes arise, the light shall fall. Will you find me? Will you find me? 
Interesting. Okay. And that's truly the end. Normally I talk over the ending sequence, but I wanted to listen to her and see if the lyrics meant anything to me. So... Pretty much, Anton is subject seven, right? And he killed Vitaly's girl and sister, correct? And then were we Vitaly, here investigating? I have a little confusion on who the main character was. Maybe we were Anton? Because at the end, the doctors were acting like we were one of the subjects. Could this whole experience have been something that happened in the head of one of the subjects? I think it's more of a spiritual curse thing, but also lots of the phenomena like orange lights and stuff was pretty extraterrestrial. And I do know that the event this game is taking creative liberties with to recreate, right? The investigation of. Um, some people had said that that was because of UFOs, and I don't know nearly enough about that incident to be able to tell you anything. I just know pretty much what they said in the opening sequence about how the people were butchered and tore themselves from their tents and everything. So, who knows what really happened to those people? I am not the best person to tell you, but what I can tell you is that Colot is a scary game. <laughs> um, I wish I could give you a better synopsis. But I'm not thinking deep enough right now. Because I tell you, that, that sequence in the bunker was just horrifying. And I think I'm going to go have a nice cup of tea. Thank you guys for watching until now. And I hope you'll join me for the next scary game we play together. Until then... Take care of yourselves and goodbye.